We'll go right into game one. Just looking at this going, but these players have been dominating earlier today. Oh, definitely. Um, Stream's snake is incredible. He's yeah, absolutely insane. <laughs> He's a uh, his grenade play is something I was definitely not used to. I don't know how much uh, me gun or practice Vic has, but he's definitely committed to being Sans today. Ooh, it was a good uh, platform drop up there from streams. All right, we got a ledge strapping situation here. A lot of explosions. Gonna, gonna, he's stuck. He, he's, he knows he's stuck. He's definitely throwing the, uh, he's definitely throwing the shield up, and <laughs> it was still not enough. <clears throat> the streams told me he fishes for those, and that up tilt's gonna be enough to take off the first stock from Vic. This is actually a pretty close uh, character matchup as well, <clears throat> so this should be uh, pretty interesting too. Yeah, the way Snake's able to pressure a platform is crazy. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of surprised that Vic allowed them to go to Battlefield. It's one of his best stages. Right now we got. So you said me gunner beat Snake. I can agree with that. I actually beat uh, Gabe while he's playing Snake as a me gunner, and his Snake is better than mine. So. Uh, I can absolutely see that uh, being absolutely true. <clears throat> Getting a little bit of chip damage. Oh, that back air. Enough to finish off Stream's first stock. Vic loves Sands. Well, he also loves uh, Earthbound. Those are very, uh, <clears throat> very Some... similar games in, in a manner of speaking. Uh, Earthbound uh, was a huge influence on Toby Fox, I believe. And uh, there's a lame theory about them being the same character. Ooh, another up tilt coming out from Streams, closing out Vic's second stock. Those clutch up tilts, uh, you know, a whole lot for a snake main. It's absolutely one of snake's best kill in terms of it. Comes out early, kills at a low percent. It's got a generous hitbox. That is true, it has a nearly sorty level uh, hitbox. With snake Ooh. sweeping that long leg of his. He tried to get that stage spike, just mistimed it. Vic didn't get any punish on uh, Snake's exploitable recovery. Oh, Vic's in a really rough spot. 107% on his last stock. Streams is set, trying to set up camp with grenades. Ooh, dash attack sets him off stage. Oh, very well timed recovery from Vic. Able to get back to the platform. That down tilt sends him upwards. We have a C4 under the left platform. Forward tilt knocking him off the stage. Using a missile to cover uh, cover his option. Good stuff. Ooh, little Dragon Ball Z moment there. Oh, you gotta hold shield after you get that parry. And maybe two. Maybe a little too late, but uh, oh, oh, and the kill. gig kill confirmed right there from Snake. Classic Snake kill confirmed. Uh, way back in the Brawl days, I was still hey, can one you of the biggest kill confirmed. Can you do me a favor and put the headset in the backpack for me? Yes. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> there's not a counter pick to call us, I'll be really surprised. Hey, hey, not. Hey, Derek. Hey, um, streams camera could come up a little bit. Hey. I wouldn't yeah. put, I don't put my controller yes. in there yet because it's, like, <laughs> I forgot if you press any button, it's yes. going to try to sync back to that. <laughs> what, oh, what stage do they counterpick to? Uh, I think it was Yoshi's Island. That's what it was when I last looked at it. That's what I thought was going to happen. All right, Vic's got to go into his main nest, which I believe that's his main. It's one of his, it's one of his mains right there. <laughs> It'll take a second. All right. Um, Vic's got deep pockets when it comes to characters. He plays Link, he plays Ness, and I know he plays Yoshi, and apparently me Gunner. He plays a pretty mean me Gunner. 
But so far, a couple neutral exchanges. Not, not nothing. Uh, it's too getting, much. <laughs> it seems like he's been getting his best results with Ness, as well as uh, physically repping the shirt from the costume. <laughs> <laughs> he's cosplaying as the alternate skin that he is using. That is true. There's a good it, it upper. counts as a cosplay. All he's missing is the hat. I have to agree with Shino here. Uh, I kind of do find the choice of Battlefield confusing, but maybe he just wants to face a Snake in his prime because Snake loses one of his biggest uh, edge guarding options on Hollows with those platforms. I actually think, I actually think that ne uh, Vic wants to. Uh, it's one out right now. I think Vic wants the platforms from Battlefield to extend combos, uh, extend his ladder combos. That certainly would make sense. And so far, Vic closed out the first stock, and that's good for him. Did not get too framed by that grenade. I was almost expecting that to happen. Apparently, that forward throw kills. I didn't know. I learned that earlier. And that up tilt's going to do the job. Only 17% uh, separating our two fighters <laughs> here. It's true. He's, been, he's playing Sans twice. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, he switched from Sans to Sans too. <laughs> He's uh, switched to uh, Sans pre-death. <laughs> There's a lot of like little interactions coming here. Light misses. Good forward air. Sans making full advantage of a lot of snakes privileges here, such as that. Uh, Oh, no, oh you to. hate to see it. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, it's incredible playing, maybe uh, causing Vic to have some minor mentality issues. Um, Ness's recovery is hard. And playing you... against a snake is, uh, frust can be frustrating. As a snake man, I have to admit it, and that can be causing a, a bit of an issue with mentality. It's okay. He's a couple stray hits and a back throw away from me and right back in this game, but he can't keep eating dash attacks like that. It's Snake with his own mortar there? No. <laughs> now, I do want to see Vic commit uh, to standing over a grenade at some point with his uh, PSI magnet. And uh, Up Smash was able to do it. Game 2 going to Strange. Yes. Alright. They're running it back on Battlefield, it seems, or maybe they uh, changed it. Making a little bit of uh, adjustment there. <clears throat> Looks like they're uh, switching some, some control schemes. Probably means that he's going to switch to a different character. I have to, I have to assume that as well. Usually, when you have jump on your left trigger, you're doing it for attack canceling reasons. Uh, it's good for characters like Roy with his jab to backer setup. Um, it's just some little interesting tech. I use it more just to cheat my short hops, but. He's probably doing it for a different reason. There's certain characters where you'd want to spam some uh, smash attacks as fast as you can. Uh, definitely makes it switch the uh, <clears throat> right joystick to smash attacks again. Alright. We're going to get a stage selection here. We got streams up, two games in a best of five series. Packland? Look at Vic, look at Vic cheesing over his uh, pretend choices. All right, we're going to PS2 now. I want to see what character he swapped to because it has to be a character swap, right? Right. Okay, almost like I see a DDD there as a pocket DDD main. I would have found that a little interesting. Are right, you switching to Link? Let's go ahead and get into it here. Game three on Pokemon Stadium two. Oh, you're right. I need to fix that. Link. This should be interesting. Both uh, some characters who are very good at both zoning and spacing. Yeah, um, Vic's Link is nasty. 
I have not seen it, but I am very hyped to see how this is going to go. I mean, a quick 80% on uh, on stream snake here. No. Love a good underdog story. It'd be very interesting to see if they can get the reverse 3 0. I'm not sure if that would. Like, on the PR, Vic's higher than Streams, so the underdog story is actually Streams going up too well. Uh, let's see if he can hold his composure and win this game three and just close it out real quick. Gotta but, respect Vic's decision to uh, play some characters for fun before going to the character he thinks is going to win it. I think I think Sans was more for fun. Ness was, he thought, was uh, a better situation for him. But... Uh, we got 151% on Snake. He's a big he boy. Is, he is a cooking snake. Snake has the ability to live for a very long time. Ooh, so. good bomb setup. Now, the game here is trying to get extra credit. Little bomb play, down throw, and up tilt. 31%. It's looking good. It's an interesting matchup. We're seeing a lot of zoning and spacing happening at the same time. Man, uh, Adult Link's Nair and Back Air are incredible. <laughs> like, they're really good options. Uh, you hate to see it when you go online and uh, go against the Link and all they're using is that B button. That's true. At the same point, it is uh, good to see that Link is now a more viable character as he's a lot of people's favorites uh, back before we knew how bad he was in Mega. <laughs> I did love that... Uh, that Catching the forward tilt, Vic coming out of shield for streams. 138% on streams, second star. Basically, 150 separating them right now. It's rough. But Snake can rack up damage real quick. A couple tricky setups with grenades and a C4. Might be able to do it for him. Yes, uh, Snake is one of the top 10 heaviest in the game, yes. you know. <laughs> He's not quite a considered a super heavy, but he's like right there. The snake is also debatably one of the most viable heavies outside of Bowser. <laughs> Stream's pairing is on grenades. He is dummy thick, and that is why he uh, deserves his spot as a heavy. Even though his ass has been nerfed, he's still quite large. Yeah, um, his his ass was uh, the, the best characteristic of him in Brawl. <laughs> Bowser is not bad. I will fight that to the death. All right. Bowser, uh, uh, I guess in maybe a higher setting, Bowser could be abused, but Bowser absolutely has a ton of privileges. <laughs> Back to the match at hand. We don't need to argue about characters. We got an entire stock separating our two characters right now. Good forward air to send streams off stage. Nice air dodge, avoiding the stage spike. Snake's in a rough spot right now. Oh. I'm surprised that did not connect. Ooh, up tilt nice taking up the stop. 120% separating our two fighters. Um, this is rough. Uh, Vic just needs to close this out. If he lets him hang around too long, Snake's got too many kill setups. It's true. Now, um, I don't know too much about like uh, kill confirms for Link, but I do know like down tilt and uh, B at certain percents. Like a down arrow would maybe be able to take him out at this level too. Uh, definitely if he gets both hits of a forward smash. <coughs> Sorry about that, Sting. Vic beat zero once? I don't know. Big if true. Big if true. That down air was not enough to finish it. <laughs> Snake is too dummy thick. Thank you for the frog SSGT. I said your name wrong on my box, but thank you for that. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for our little amphibian friend there. Not looking good for Snake, although he could run this back. <clears throat> is there a C4 out somewhere? I, like I don't see I think he may have detonated earlier. That's going to be a huge thing for him. At this percent, I think the only way back into this... Oh, just missing the up tilt. Oh, the down air is enough to finish it. 
Vic taking game three. It's a very, very close match despite the difference in uh, damage. Snake's uh, ability to live is pretty formidable. <clears throat> All right, they're discussing stages here. I think it's Garok. It needs to be streams turned aside. Stages. Um, okay, so since Vic won, he's he gets to ban two stages, and then Stream gets to pick from what's left. <clears throat> Ooh, he's taking him to Smashville. It's a small stage. The blast zones are real small. Snake can capitalize on that. I like the pick. <laughs> Small stage can also be uh, good for a sortie as well as the sword privileges. It Immediately jumping out with a dash attack. I like the aggressive options and streams. Stream is hard on that leg pressure. Yeah. He's um, prioritizing dash attacking him. Trying to follow up the border immediately. Ooh. Reverse 3-0 would be quite a sight to see, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Reverse 3-0s are so hard, uh, for one, you have to play on your opponent's counter pick the rest of the time, and that's rough in and of itself. Now, I would like to see Streams utilize that center platform for using his C4, basically forcing it where, like, the moment you get on there, you're in some trouble, but we get a forward throw off the stage. Not choosing to pressure him off stage. A B reverse grenade just to scoot a little bit more to the left to get out of Link's hitboxes. And Vic nice finishing it off. And then Stream's answer is right back. I do apologize for uh, stumbling on the pronunciation of your name there. I'm not going to try again because I'll just, I'll just cloud myself trying. Link's got an arrow in his hand there. It's a fun little mechanic. Uh, you, when you pick up an arrow that you shoot on the ground, uh, when you press B again, you shoot multiple arrows. It's fun. Uh, it's not that useful of a mechanic. Tony. I don't remember seeing that name in bracket. Does he have a different username or something? I'm not sure. I didn't see a Coney. The Alrighty. Okay, only 5% separating our two fighters here. It's a little up tilt out of, out of the parry. I like that option for Streams. Streams has gotten a lot of parries. He's even uh, parrying his own mortars and grenades. Some good. Uh, definitely knows the timing very well. He says he hasn't been playing Snake but longer than like a couple weeks. Is it interesting little thing? Right, I don't see a Kony uh, anywhere on the Smash GG. Okay, Vic, so not able to make it back to, uh, to stage. <clears throat> Some this... I'm not familiar with. Too well. But we got we got Vic on his last stock here. Stream's looking to close it out to set, setting up an edge guard with his up smash. Link's linear recovery. Oh, oh nice. miss input. Beep, beep, and he dies. That's not good. All too familiar with that as a snake main. It's very unfortunate. But, uh, big news for Jarek that's having to pull through this game. He needs to. He's, he's on his tournament stock here, and Stream's just laying out a huge uh, little setup there. Regardless of the winner, I do want to see a game five. This is a very fun matchup. Get up attack, and blocks the up smash. Now Vic needs to either get a huge conversion or just chip damage him for a long time. Ooh, good DI. One. Good DI getting himself into the corner. Was that a C4 blowing up? No, that was uh, that was his own uh, well, Chica, I saw, Chica bomb. I, well, no, I, like what set of, like I didn't, I thought he had it in his hand. Ooh, oh, Vic takes game four. That We're going to a game nasty. five. Look at Vic cheesing over there. 
All right, they said we're running this right back to Smashville. Vic, a man of culture, using the Fierce Deity Link skin. The best one they got. The best skin, right behind Dark Link. And, I mean, Stream's a man of culture using the... the Gucci Snake. Gucci Snake, yeah. Gucci Snake versus Fierce is, Deity uh, Link. That is probably my all-time favorite skin as well. Alright, got a couple neutral interactions here. I'm proud of Vic as well, he's been playing very well today. Vic is looking for that first hit of fair into something. I'm not sure what it connects into, but he's been looking for it this whole set. I love the pressure that he's that he's able to put with the up air. That lingering hitbox is nothing to scoff at. Good bomb placement. Streams going up high. Hit with the important one. You know they made they recently made a. Uh, Ooh, again. Yo, oh, I wasn't able to DI his way out. They recently uh, changed the way the multi-hit moves like that work. Um, it, the last hit doesn't send you as far unless you hit every other hit. So, slight nerf, but it didn't come into play there. Yeah. And he's expanding his lead quite a bit, too. Yeah, Vic's, Vic's got a little bit of rage on him. If he's able... <laughs> oh... He, he wasn't able to cancel the Nikita in time, and he was able. He ate a couple jabs. I wanted to see like at least an F tilt out of it for a punish there, but it's okay. Is Waldo still in? I haven't the, seen him. Where is he? Dude, he's clowning you. <laughs> oh, and a nice parry to up tilt from streams. <laughs> We got about 65% uh, separating now. Link gets a back throw to set him off stage. Nice air dodge, grab, down throw. Oh, he only got the first part of F tilt, but he was able to pivot and get uh, the full F tilt to connect on the other side. We got Link once again, uh, Vic once again throwing streams off, off the stage here. Just misses the grab. It's a nice nair. Good down tilt. He's able to block that grenade. Elf tilt coming out. Got an up smash. It's a good place. Ooh, well placed grenade. grenade. Put him, bouncing off that grenade put him right in the line of the mortar. I don't know if that was intentional, but it definitely was. Ooh, not that up smash was enough to take out Vic's second stock. Vic on his uh, tournament stock once again. Vic he's going to need to take that stock as soon as possible. He's been scooting by this whole set. A snake with a lead is a very scary thing as he can just keep accepting trades. Yeah. He has, a, he has a frame. He pulls he pulls his grenade out at frame one and he can just accept getting hit with a grenade over and over again. The dash attack's enough to take it though. Vic, 38% streams at zero. This is starting to get real tense. Vic's exuding a lot of pressure with the projectiles. Little forward throw. Oh, he accidentally jumps into the mortar. That F smash. Luckily, he shielded it. Streams with a back air to send Vic off the stage. Vic launches up a couple. Uh, not Vic. Stream launches up a mortar. Streams has basically decided that it's time to zone him out until he's ready to die, which is a very classic snake move. Adult Link's bomb, not enough. It doesn't break the damage threshold to get out of. Oh, the mortar no. hits! It's another mortar. It's alright, he's back on stage. Vic's almost at full rage. So his dam like his damage and knockbacks up just a little bit, but it, that's enough to make a difference, especially on a stage as small as Smash. Seems like Vic was fishing for good out of shield option. Streams is looking for that up tilt. Every snake's oh, looking yes. for that up tilt. <clears throat> a little forward tilt, nice grab. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. This is getting tense. The dash attack sending Vic way off the screen. Oh, the no. mortar oh, is no! gonna do it, and Streams oh, in game five takes it. Very, very close matchup there. Good job, both fighters. All right.